it to my boss. And my question is, um, I just Googled spectra, safety, and fines. And I came up with a whole bunch of stuff, and I would encourage anyone sitting here right now with a smartphone to do the same. For people that learn from incident and consider, I heard tonight that they consider safety the most important thing, they were fined $15 million by the EPA for dumping PCBs from compressor stations along a spectra pipeline. I worry about the water here because if PCBs get into the water, it's a disaster. And I'm from New Jersey, and I know what I'm talking about. Um, I, there is no transparency in this company, and they send people to meetings like this, forgetting entirely about things that occurred to Spectrum. Their last finding was in 2012, according to my research, and that was for failing to report on safety issues. Um, so it concerns me that um, a group such as yourself doing this good work would actually try to elicit that information and it's kept from you. So perhaps you can ask more specifically whether they're going to be using PCBs in the lubricants in this line, in the compressors specifically. And well, um, after because, you finish speaking, let them answer that question when you finish. Yes. Because as, as of 2010, they filed with the stock exchange and said that they are using them still. And they can use them in greater 50 parts per million. They can exceed that in the lubricant that they use in their compressors. Now, my specific question is, do they intend on using PCBs in the compressors? And when there's blow-offs, does that come out? We're talking about the water running out of, out of the pipes. Is that found in that water? Thank you. Anybody can answer that? Customer <coughs> blocking. Uh, there, there will be no PCBs in this pipeline. The PCBs that she's referring to was a very historic issue. Back in, I believe it was the 60s and 70s, it was considered a fire retardant. And they used it in, in compressors and around equipment dealing with gas and electrical issues and things of that nature. So on our compressors, it was used in the loop as, a, as an okay. Yeah. What happened was um, they used it for a while. And essentially, through the wet seals and everything else, they got into the pipeline. Uh, hence, at that point, PCBs were not an issue. And once they became an issue, uh, we entered into a, a, a consent order with the EPA to clean up our pipeline. There's areas where pipeline liquids due to maintenance were on the ground, across the city, mm -hmm. that We cleaned all that up. That's a historic issue. This pipeline, we do not use PCB lubricants anymore. We haven't used for decades. Uh, this pipeline will not have PCBs in it. The compressor stations will use uh, normal lube oil. There will be no PCBs.